Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Whisper Mizzen here, and con to continue my series on quick fixes in Photoshop, uh, I wanted to go over how I get rid of this, like this weird shadow under my neck. Uh, we'll talk about that and we'll talk about liquefying. So we'll do liquefy and we'll talk about fixing neck shadows. Because as you can tell, it looks like I got some crusty neck right here. I don't like it. It bothers me, right? So uh, we're going to fix that real quick. Um, I need to fix. See how this is like this weird lump right here? I don't know why it's there. It is what it is. But it's easily fixable by going to liquefy. And let me go into zoom. All right. Liquify, you kind of define things better, I guess, if you wanted to, but you have to make sure because I don't know if you ever saw like the Kardashians when they Photoshop their picture, like if, if you, <laughs> and I'm sure many of you know this by now, like if you go and you Photoshop something and you do liquify, like you're pushing that image into another section. So if you do it too noticeably, like you'll see it, it's, it's going to be there and it's going to look weir really funky. So I try not to do too much of a liquify. Uh, I'll play around with it. Let's go ahead and again use this bracket to fix it. And I will just drag. I will drag and I will drag just so we can see. See how that looks. it looks better. So if you wanted to define your nose, you can push that over and everything else, but I just need to fix that little lump that bothered me. And sometimes if your neck is all freaking weird, I do liquefy because again, that bothers me as well. I'll show you before and after. I have a lot of stuff open, so my computer's probably like, eh. All right, so this is before. Let me show you. Step backwards and see how that's there. And then if I step forward, it's normal now. So, yeah. All right, so that's the liquefying part. Let's discuss this, uh, <laughs> this neck, this crusty, dusty neck. I will use a quick sele selection tool, and I will go over... which is fine. Now, you see how it does this sometimes? That's fine. You push ALT and you click to drag. You just click and drag. Again, you're going to see a negative. See the little minus sign? If I push ALT, it's going to be... so it's taking away that space. It's not always going to be 100% perfect, but that's fine. So, once it's like that, I will right click and I will say layer via copy. And this is really cool. Uh, so, go to filter, blur. We're going to do gloss and blur. I like to do 20 on the neck. You see? But I will also go back with my little eraser tool and I need to get rid of this shadow that's. When you do the blurs, obviously it's going to uh, go beyond because you're blurring out your gloss, glossin, 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 <laughs> blurring it. So it kind of expands the area in a sense. Um, so I just want to make sure I don't mess too much with that. But I do want to go over in case it's overlapping onto normal images. So let's see. I want to blend, so that's why I'm using my eraser tool just to go around so it doesn't look unblended. If you want a more defined chin, you can always erase this area to where the blur is kind of going over. I like it. 
I think it looks nice, but as you can tell, before crusty dusty neck <laughs> to after a more softer uh, shadow. So yeah, that's how I tend to uh, fix my neck shadows in Photoshop. All right, as always, I hope this helped. Uh, if you want to learn anything below the possibly that I know, I will share with you. Just ask. So yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.